in this problem we have a graph and we have points that are labeled and we just have to select the appropriate choice for each point. It's kind of interesting. So A. So what is A? So looking at the graph, A is an absolute minimum. It is the smallest uh, Y value uh, on the graph. So it wants us to pick absolute minimum. That's one of the choices. Right? There, are, there is no Y value smaller than this one, so we will go uh, with uh, that one. B. Uh, B is going to be a relative maximum uh, because relative to the points around it, it's the biggest one. It's the biggest Y value. You might say, well, uh, is it an absolute maximum? No. There's points over here near G that are bigger than B, so it's just only going to be relative. So that should be a relative maximum. C. C is nothing, right? It's not going to be uh, any type of minimum or maximum, so we're going to choose uh, neither for C. D is a relative minimum. Relative to the points around it, it's the smallest one. So it'll be relative minimum. E is a relative maximum, right? Relative to the points around it, it's higher. So relative uh, maximum. F is a relative minimum, right? Relative to the points around it, it's smaller. It's a really nice example, so you can really see what they are. And then G is nothing, right? Because it's, it's, it's a hole, so it's nothing. Now, if, you, if G was filled in, let's say this was a solid dot, then G would be an absolute maximum. But because it's a hole, we don't include it, so it's uh, neither. Kind of a nice, nice problem. That's it.